Oh my god, Lil, please tell me we're here. Let me see. Yes, Jensen's Rock. This is where we're going to camp tonight. Finally. Why did I ever let you talk me into this insane hike? It's just four miles. We've done more. All uphill, babe. Come on, you'll love the view. <gasps> what view? I only see pain. Stand up on that big rock and look that way. Oh my god. Katie, you're right. That is beautiful. You can see forever from here. Ariel. Yeah? Well, just a second. Just still taking in this view. I kind of have something to ask you. If this is about that sweater again, I told you. No, no, it's not about that. <laughs> what the hell? I got it, thank God. Will? Ariel, I... You didn't ask, did you? What? Did you ask her the question? No, and give that back. Rill, who is that? Do you know her? I don't know. Some psycho girl just apparated out of nowhere and tackled me out of the blue. Cassandra. My name is Cassandra. I can explain everything. Yes, please. Please explain. Oh, you just tackled me right in the middle of when I was about to... To... Uh... Rill, is that a ring? For you? Yes. About to propose to me? It is an engagement ring. And I traveled all the way here at great personal risk just to prevent her from proposing to you. From where? What's all the way here from? The future. I'm your daughter from the future. You see, mom always told me the romantic story of how mom took mom to Jensen's Rock on her birthday and how mom complained the entire way about how tired she was. But then mom told her to stand on the view, to stand on the rock and look at the view. And she, mom, no, the other mom, went down on one knee and proposed and it was so romantic for mom. Yes, it sounds like it would have been very romantic. But mom was kind of not sure yet, but she said yes anyway. And they got hitched, and mom still kind of wondered if she did the right thing. And mom never knew. And even after I was born, the doubt still grew in mom's mind about mom. If you are my kid, we're going to have to work a bit more on your word usage and clarity. This unspoken doubt festers, and it ruins the relationship. Until in the end, oh, I can't even tell you about it. It is awful. I had to come back and stop it before it started. This is insane. There's no such thing as time travel. I don't know what she's up to, but... The Tippet Equation. You know about the Tippet Equation? What's the Tippet Equation? She solves it, eventually. It's a huge deal. I do? You fix the flaw in the equation, and it makes time travel possible. Holy shit. I do? I can? Yes. Yes, I can. It'll take time, but I can. Oh my god, I saw the Tippet Equation! You don't believe her, do you? I've never told anyone about the Tippet Equation. It's been my secret obsession. But she knows. So yes, I believe her. For God's sake. And if what she's saying is true, then we shouldn't get married. Because Sandra's right, I would have said yes, because I care for you. But I have my doubts. I do. I don't want to, but I do. I'm sorry. God damn. Ariel, I... All right. All right. I guess we should stop seeing each other. Cassandra, you can give me that ring back. Ooh. 
Cassandra, what's happening to you? Oh, nothing, Mom. Just fading out of existence because of altering the timeline. I don't get conceived now. What? Oh, nothing, Mom. Just don't worry about it. I, I love you. I, I love you both. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, you can say that again. I really do love you. I know. Right. I guess we should hike back while we still have the light and I'll start looking for another apartment. Well, you don't have to do that right away. Thanks. Hey, mind if I go take a look at the view? I'll catch up to you. Sure. Take your time. Linebacker. Oh, oh, well, I'm sorry. Miss, ma'am? Uh, Are you a time traveler too? Oh. Oh, right. Um, how? Okay, okay, something, something, equation, time travel. I got it the first time. Now, what do you want? Uh, all right, Lillian. That is you, right? I I've never actually seen you before. My name is Caitlin. I usually go by Lil. Right. Well, since you already know something about the time travel thing, I need to tell you that you are about to make a monumental mistake. Breaking up with Mother today destroys both of you. So Ariel is your mother? Yes, but with her despicable husband, Stephen, and not with you. She came to realize that you really are the one, but because you broke up today, well, Mother can be quite stubborn, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm lucky to have discovered Mother's diaries where she talks about you. Oh, you should have read what she wrote. She says she wasn't ready today, but eventually she will be. Would be, would have been. Oh dear God. Time travel makes such a pig's breakfast of grammar. You were saying about your mother? Yes. Stephen mistreats mother constantly. And the sniveling coward stole all her credit for her work on the Tippett equation. She's always regretted letting you go. It's had some rather tragic consequences. Anyway, long story short, don't give up, okay? Give her time, a year maybe, and then you can pop the question again. Hmm? Here. Thanks, I guess. Oh dear. Fading from existence? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it, Lillian. It was well worth it. Oh. Hi. Just checking in on you. Making sure you're not ditching me before we ditch each other. I would probably die out here if you did that. Hey, about ditching each other. I've been thinking, you're not ready now, I get that. How about we just take it slow? Stay together for now, see how you feel in a year, maybe? What do you think about that? I... I'd like that. I do care for you, Lil, but things are just moving so fast. I know. No, 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 Ew, gross, gross, gross. Hey, do you have a problem with what we're doing? Oh, no. If you're about to call us some unflattering names, you can just- Oh, no, no, it's just no one wants to see their parents kissing. 
<laughs> oh my god. I, I just said you're my parents. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I just swore in front of my parents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. it's all right. What's your name? Katie. <laughs> uh so I guess my cover's blown. So yeah, I'm your daughter from the future. Your egg, your uterus, that's me. Okay, daughter number three. Do you bring dire warnings from the future for us? Oh, no. No, I just wanted to see this moment. And to say that you guys are gonna be okay now. Not perfect, but okay. Lil could learn to fold the laundry better according to Ariel, but it's okay, it works out. No, it's just that, you know, you guys told me the story of today so many times. I figured you could use some reassurance. All right, we can live with that. You're not going to tackle me, are you? Am I supposed to? No, no, <laughs> look, Katie, your mother and I are going to go home now. I assume we can get back to your time without fading from existence. You bet. The effect is temporary and I'll soon revert back to my time automatically. It was lovely to meet you. Oh, you too, Mom. You guys are just so cute at this age. Let's go before a half dozen more show up. Hey, Katie. Gamma? Have they invented teleportation yet? Jetpacks? Anything to save me from this goddamn hike? Sorry, can't help you. <laughs> Come on, I'll carry you if need be. Oh, and Katie? Yeah, Ma? If you ever visit us from the future again, you're grounded. You're grounded forever, young lady. From birth. I will invent time travel specifically to ground your ass into the Stone Age. I love you too, Ma. Both of you. Bye. You guys were so right about this view.